Welcome back everybody to another camp cook with Daddy Dutch. Hey, uh, today we are doing our video for a meatloaf collaboration. I believe the hashtag is don't let your meatloaf. I got to double check with uh, Lance and John to make sure I got that right. Uh, if not, George will correct them and all four of us will eventually have it right. Uh, we Today we're going to use uh, a pound of ground elk, a pound of ground beef, mix those together, egg, breadcrumb, a little something extra in the middle. You'll have to stick around and see what that is. It's a little breezy out here at the campground, but uh, we'll get the job done. Today we are going to be cooking on the Char Griller Acorn Kamado. Um, let me uh, get everything out and we'll show you what we got. Before we get going too far, I just want to show you guys the difference in the color of that elk meat compared to the, the ground beef. Amazing. I can't wait for this. Alright, let's get started with our mix. Uh, we're just going to break up the ground elk and the ground beef a little bit. Now, we definitely need to put some flavor in here. First thing going in, Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. You know me and Steve. It's like bread and butter, baby. Getting attacked by leaves over here. The Joy's Outdoor Kitchen. Number two, Smoke Bomb. Just a little bit. You know, a little more, a little less, depends what you like. Uh, we are going to go with a little bit of breadcrumb as a binder. And these are Italian breadcrumbs. Because we're fancy like that. Now we're going to drop in a couple cackleberries. And we're going to start mixing. Now, we're going to be real polite while we're on camera. We're going to start mixing with a spatula. But you guys know as well as I do, the best tool, got, uh, best two tools God ever gave you are right here. So we are going to start like this. We are going to wash our hands up good. We're going to get this mixed up. Check, see how tacky it is, and we'll bring it back. All right, let's see if I can explain a little bit what we are going to do today. Now, I thought I had Pam cooking spray out here. I do not. So we're going to do the next best thing. A little canola oil and a paper cup. So we are able to grease the sides and the bottom of our mini loaf tins. Okay, we're going to do just one of these for you. I will do the other ones offline. Let me grab the meat mix we're gonna get after it all right here is our meat with our breadcrumbs our seasoning everything in there what we're gonna do guys we're gonna lightly pack some in the bottom and up both edges it doesn't need to be super thick just want to press it enough so it'll stick together. So let's get one done here. Like I said with the other two, we will do it off camera. If you've seen one, you'll know how to do it. All right, we're getting there. And you know, you want to try to keep it fairly even. You don't want it real thick in one spot, thin in the other. Promote a little even cooking. A little thin spot there. All right. Got my towel. Hold on. All right. Now for the surprise in the middle. Straight from Jeff Rice at Dead Broke Barbecue, Wisconsin. String cheese. Sure. 
should have had it out of the package, but I didn't. There you go. Nestles nicely in the middle. We're going to put a layer on top, keeping the cheese in the middle. Like this. We're going to get it smoothed out. We're going to put a little extra smoke bomb on the top. And we're going to get this in the Kamado. Now, right now, the Kamado is sitting right about 350 degrees. So, I'm going to get these other two done. Later, we're going to come over top of this when it's 90% done. You know how Grandma, Grandma always put ketchup over the top or made her own barbecue sauce. Well, my buddy Randy from Big Salinas Barbecue sent me his spicy barbecue sauce. So we are going to do that at the end. So I'm going to get these other two made up and I'll give you a picture before we put them on the Kamado. All right, so here we go. We got three, about three quarter pound meatloafs with string cheese on the inside. Now Todd, Sassy, if you're watching this, who's this chick baking on a camp chef? Your two burner with the griddle accessory. Huh, wonder where I've seen her before. All right, Kamado's right over 350. Let's go ahead and get these put on. And like I said, we are out at the campground gang. So you might hear some noise in the background. You might not, but that's okay. All right, we got these on. We're gonna let them go. Uh, we're gonna check them about every 20 to 30 minutes and we will bring you back at that time. So, good night, babies. We moved in a little closer. It's been 30 minutes. I got out an instant read. Uh, if you don't know, this is the Cooking with CJ Instant Read Thermometer, which is available on his website. Shameless plug for the old boss man. Let's take a couple temps here. Oh my, we're almost done. We are almost done, guys. One fifty. Okay. We are going to move these around just a little bit. And since we are almost done, we're going to add the barbecue sauce I told you about. Big Salinas barbecue sauce, spicy. Let's get this shaken up a little bit. And we're going to come right over the top. Now most of it should stay on top. This sauce is very good. I've used it before, as you might be able to tell. Very, very good sauce, Randy. Thank you so much. Excuse the arm shot. Okay, we're gonna put this to bed for about another five to 10 minutes. We're gonna pop them out, we're gonna let them cool and I'll bring you back. All right, I'm trying to get you boys a shot. One of our unmarked uh, SUVs, one of the police. These guys are on a bike trail on off-road bikes. And they just got told they're naughty, get the hell off. All right, our meatloaf is done. Let's See if we can get one of these guys out of the pan. Slide back here where you can see it a little better. Plenty of juice inside that pan. I hope you can see it. Yeah, there you can down in the corner. So now I don't totally expect that string cheese to be melted. 
but we are going to try to slice this up and see what we got. Looks like a nice little pearl right in the middle. Like I said, I have used this sauce before. You guys have used, seen me use Uncle Steve's shake plenty of times. Let's lay this out a little bit and show you what we got. There you go. A fun little meatloaf with a surprise in the middle. So, we're going to give it a quick try here. And we'll tell you what we think. A little close up. Mmm. Oh my God, guys. This is heavenly. And that, that elk meat. If you can find elk meat, give it a try. Um, big thing with elk, it's much leaner than ground beef, unless you're cooking with a, a 93.7 ground beef. Now this elk came from my buddy, the chiropractor, and we took it to the, uh, the Rems and Locker with my buddy Pete, and he actually ground the elk for us and added uh, the beef fat to it. So this is actually uh, a little fattier than what you'd normally get. This is like an 8515, but it gives just that little different flavor than ground beef. But I am gonna tell you, with the smoke bomb and the Lucky Shake in here, adds great flavor. And Randy, Big Salinas' spicy sauce on the top, just that little kick with a little sweetness. So there you have it, guys, an elk and ground beef meatloaf for the hashtag don't let your meat loaf we will see you next time thanks gang